What's going on YouTube? It's Peter here and um, I'm going to do an extremely fast video on something that a lot of you probably um, will come across at some point or another with your uh, Mercedes, whether it's a W140. I'm sure that it's very similar on many of the uh, Mercedes, but this is specifically on a 95 S-Class S500. Specifically, I have two of them here. We're starting to disassemble this one. I have the engine transmission uh, and of course a lot of other things are just going to come along with it because I'm selling the car but I'm pulling a lot of the parts off it so that is up for sale and I'm going to take um, a very low offer on that I have it listed for 600 by now 114,000 original miles and the wiring harness has been redone so no lights uh, the engine runs very smooth no shaking transmission shifts pretty smooth and the AC compressor everything does work it does need Freon uh, and I don't know, there might be a small leak in that, but just the engine transmission, well worth 600 bucks. Uh, if it's something you guys need, make me an offer. Um, we'll work on transporting it. The car does have tires and everything on it. I will be disassembling everything. Starting with this, I want to get this done before it gets dark. And uh, I figured this out just by playing around. I did watch somebody else do it on a video, but didn't really pay attention. Taking out the corner light, obviously on my... Um, 95 black s500 the one i'm keeping the light was smashed the gold one does have a corner light which i will be replacing because it does have a little bit of a chip piece of plastic these are plastic the headlights are glass so to take this corner piece off uh, i might need to get a light here to show you guys um, i'm gonna go ahead and go get a light and show you guys Alrighty, guys i've got my light now so hopefully you saw that all i did was take this plastic piece off here which, um, let me see if I can set that light up. That actually might be perfect. So this plastic piece here, which just pops off with a couple clips and that opens up this little area here. And to take this corner light off, there's a little, let me see if I can find it here. Um, yeah, back there actually. There's a little clip, you see that little, I'll try to shine right on it. That little um, piece of gray plastic that looks like you can grab it with your hand. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and reach in there and pop that. And you'll see the light assembly. Sorry about that, guys. The light assembly is, let's see if I can set the light up there. The light assembly is just gonna come right out. It should just come right up. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. One handed, not the easiest thing in the world. Um, but there you go. There is a um, wire harness on the back that just pulls right off. So you can see I did that one handed. And that's it. Um, you have your rubber padding along the edge. We'll compare the two here. That one's obviously smashed, got hit. The light bulb might be good on that though, so I might keep that. And our newish piece here, which came off the other car, and does have a cracked piece there, so I will be replacing that, but for now, at least that's going to finish off that corner. All right, guys, hopefully that helped you out. If you have any questions about this, do not hesitate to comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can see there, the wiring harness just pulls right out. This will just push right back in, snap in, um, in fact, let me um, go ahead and get that wire back on there and I'll show you guys how that snaps right back in. All right, got my light positioned a little bit better there. Sorry it got dark really quick on me when I first wanted to do this. I wanted to get it done quick. I just want to tell you the wire harness is a no-brainer. There's um, only, there's one prong um, that sticks out that... Um, there's a empty hole for it and you'll see that that's so it's kind of self-explanatory how it goes in and then of course this is just going to slide right back in make sure you line everything up push it in and you'll hear a little pop and it's in so that's it guys uh once again i'm peter if you have any questions let me know i've got tons of videos coming guys i've disassembled the doors uh i'm getting ready to disassemble the headliner take out the um uh, sorry, the sunroof and go from there. I've got a lot of parts that I'm going to be pulling off. So if you guys are in need of anything, uh, minor, major, let me know. 
uh, air conditioning buttons, so forth. I'm going to be letting a lot of things go to my subscribers for very cheap. In fact, some I might just help you guys out with. Uh, but I've got a video next going to be on disassembling the door and pulling out the door lock actuator. Uh, what a job that is. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be uh, an in-depth video. And hopefully we can accomplish that because it's not an easy task. Thanks again. Have a great day. And don't forget to tell people to subscribe.